in a strategy. I just don't care anymore. Well, here's what I can do to make you care. Since you're unhappy with your current deal, we can add your husband as a co-defendant. Computer trespass and hacking, cyber fraud, breach of privacy, forgery, criminal mischief, destruction of evidence. I might go to prison. But the whole time I'm in there, I'm gonna work to expose you as the corrupt agent who disgraced the FBI. Traffic cam photo from the night of Bonnie Winterbottom's car accident. That photo puts Pollock two blocks away. Exact same time. Winterbottom's part of our investigation. It's Pollock's job to tailor something. The brakes went out. According to Winterbottom, somebody we both know has a history of suicide ideation. We got a corrupt agent working for the Castillos. You in on it, too? Not everybody here wanted me to offer you an immunity deal, Nate. You want to change your mind? Do you? Because you were at the same wedding as D.A. Miller the night he was murdered. Circumstantial evidence. I've convicted people with less. Not people you need to testify against Annalise Keating. And if you're as clean as you claim, look into Pollock. Well, who knows what I'll say in the stand. You and Bonnie are over. Why well, is not for you to decide? Her father raped her, Frank. Started when she was five. He'd record it sell it her mom knew it took money from people sold her you like her sure but do you really have what it takes to be there for her uh, not for a few months a year but for a life you know yourself what kind of guy you are the real you and you'll destroy her then finding out it, it makes things too complicated So I was because of Sam. That's what this is about. I'm not a serious guy, but you know that. Probably eventually cheat, so. Explain to me, though. This episode no, is called good. What If Sam I Wasn't know. the Bad Guy the Whole Time. But everything he's doing is just making him more and more bad guy. I expected to see something else or some uh, alternate universe type of thing what I expected from the episode, but it's not the way it's going. I'm so stupid. No. Sorry, I didn't tell you. Because I knew this would happen. No, you're not stupid. You're brave. The girl I first met would have never even let herself think about a relationship or love. Because that's the hardest part. Believe in you deserve it. But you deserve more than anyone, Bonnie. And leave Frank's dumbass to me. I'll teach him. He was so good with us. That's because he was us. Maybe. You tell Frank to break up with Bonnie? At least she knew. No, but I'm not going to pretend to be upset. Well, Bonnie, she suspected, but he said no. Okay. Did Bonnie she believe okay. him, though? She's strong. Come on, it's just too coincidental I that you find out fine. and then he breaks up with her? It's obvious it was you. There's ashes. I thought we could spread them at my parents' gravesite. Just the two of us or minister if you want. I don't want any part of it. Why? Because every time you bring him up, I can feel you blaming me. You didn't do this. How many times can I tell you that? You don't mean it. I can feel you avoiding me. You can't even stand to be alone with me. You blame me for asking you to have a baby in the first place. Yeah, I do. Okay, so it's my fault that we're buried under this grief, okay? That way you don't have to feel anything. I'm in constant pain. That's all I feel. You're not the only one in pain, though, Annie. Our son died. I am his father, and I failed to protect him. You want a hug? You want Mammy to hold you till everything's gonna be okay? I want my wife to do that. Well, I'm too tired holding myself. I'm alone here trying to inch my way back to life and, and you keep running off to cry to your sister. So I'm the villain now. No, I this is because what I mean. You're perfect as always. No, I'm a mess. And apparently that's why you fell in love with me and now you can't handle it. Because I'm not perfect either. Well, I don't want you to be perfect. I want you to be honest. And what if there are things that you don't want to know? What then? I wanna know. You say that now, but what if. 
What if there are things that you can't accept, Danny? Like what? You hate me? Stop. What else could it be, huh? You're not attracted to me anymore. I'm ruined for you. I'm the one who's ruined. Okay? I'm broken. We're all broken, Sam. I'm broken in ways you can't fix. I am, too. And now it... It feels too late for me, Annie. I mean it. Well, if it's too late for you, then it's too late for me, too. Because all I want to do is give up. Die. I'm afraid to get back the life we had, Sam. I, I can't do it alone. All I want to do is love you. Why did we love him? Because he understood us. It was his gift. Getting us to see that we were just children, that we weren't to blame. But it was his trauma too. Hannah was older, he might have been a boy. Okay, so she was older, okay. But there was no one to tell him that. He could heal others, but he couldn't heal himself. If his parents were so awful, why would he want to spread his son's ashes on their grave? That makes me feel sad for him a little bit doing that, but that makes what he did okay. Yeah. Right. That's my point. I don't understand this makes him not a bad guy. Makes me see him. And I don't know what to do with that. You are loyal. And good. And strong. To the point that you stuck with me even when I didn't deserve it. So Thank you. No, thank you. Do you think I would be this loyal or strong or good if it wasn't for all the hardship that we went through? You made me me. Not him. What's this? A report card. I mean, why did she miss 83 days of school in her senior year? Mono. Doctor's records verified. Unless they were lying. Lying about what? Another reason to miss that much school is if you're... Oh, God. If you're pregnant. I was afraid she was going to say that. I signed a new deal. Yeah, okay. Good of you, so. probably. Nothing ties Hannah to any local maternity wards or hospitals at the time. Birth certificates. Nothing. Unless we're looking False at the wrong name. Month. She was back in school March 5th. So she must have had the baby in February. Or March, and then she went right back. What's going on? Who was born in March, Annalise? Oh my god, it's one of them, the product of incest. I mean, her dad was somebody else. Unless Hannah sold her to him. Then I mean Sam so had to sorry. kiss his daughter. I don't know, this is confused. If any of this is true. With Hannah. He was abused. No. He abused us. He made me break up with you. So think about how much time he stole from us. I'll never forget him for that. I'm confused. She was thinking about who was born in March, and then they're showing Frank and Bonnie. It's freaking me out. Husband Sam Keating, deceased. Mr. Keating's DNA is on a file from the Lila Stangard murder investigation. I need this on a rush. You are right. Pollock's been in direct contact with the Castillos for nearly a year, which means you clearly have insight into things I don't. So you want to come down here and tell me what else I don't know? I've told you everything I know. You're gonna do the rest of the work yourself. I have proof that Hannah and Sam slept together. What is it? A child. Her in a DNA test against Sam, and the sample was a match. A match for who? Who was born in March, Annalise? Tell me who! Frank?
That is fucked up. That is fucked up. No wonder Frank is a little... <laughs> oh, I knew it had to be one of them because it flashed right to them. Oh my gosh. I'm guessing Frank doesn't have any clues because he thinks his dad's somebody else. Oh man. Jesus. Did Frank or did uh, Sam know that Frank was his kid? I'm gonna say no. They look Oh my god. I'm about to say they look close to the same age, but Oh Jesus. I mean, I guess it depends on how young. I mean, they were high school, so I guess it's possible. But they would look close in age, I guess. Oh, God. I don't know what to do with that information. I really don't. But I will say that none of this makes what Sam did okay. It, it doesn't make me feel like what he did justified in a way it doesn't at all to me i don't understand the title of this episode <laughs> yeah it sucks that he was abused by his older sister and neglected by his parents which i still don't understand if he hated his parents so much why he put his son's ashes on their on their graves but um that was the only part i felt bad for him that he was there alone like annalise didn't come with him uh for that but uh, other than that, I mean, his life sucked because of what happened with him and his sister, sure. But it doesn't make me feel different about what he did since we've known him with Lila and what he did with Frank and what he cheating on Annalise after, you know, she just lost their child. It was just like. I don't, I didn't really get it. I don't know. I don't know if I'm supposed to feel differently, but I don't feel different. So now uh, that one FBI agent knows that Pollock has been with, you know, like in cahoots with the Castillos. So I don't know what he's going to do with that information. Uh, Connor at least signed the new deal, which I don't know what that entails, but I think he did it more for Oliver um, because he was going to try to take Oliver down as well. And, um, yeah, I don't know if Michaela did. I'm assuming she must have. Otherwise, why is she out? Um, Nate, I don't really understand what his plan is. I don't understand what he's doing. I think that I just, I still hate him. He's screwing everything up as far as I know. I mean, he did get an agent outage, sure. But what is that going to do? Unless she confesses to Asher's murder and to all these setups. Which I don't even know if she has everything to do with. Like Nate's dad, I don't even know if she knows about. Uh, the only thing I can think of is just the Asher thing, right? Unless she also knows about the governor's involvement in a lot of this, so... I don't know, guys. I don't know what to think, but there's only two episodes left of the series. I am excited to see how it's going to end, especially since I've seen the titles of the next uh, episode. So that's curious. I actually expected this episode to end with uh, with something happening to Annalise um, because the next episode is called uh, Annalise Keating is Dead or something like that. So... Yeah, I don't know. I'm interested to, to, to finish this series, see how they close it off. Hopefully it is a good ending or a great ending. I mean, I know sometimes shows end and they have a sucky finale. I hope that is not the case for this show because it's been so great up till now. And I hope it continues to be so. Uh, but yeah, um, I enjoyed the episode. I hope you enjoyed my reaction. If you did, please give this video a like. If you have any suggestions and anything you'd like me to react to, please leave that down below. And I will see you in the next one. Bye.